Have you ever heard the saying, honesty is the best policy? Whether you realize it or not, there's something to be said about being honest. In all your relationships, honesty is just like water. No color, no shape, no taste, but still very important for life. Here's another thing about honesty. Have you personally experienced lying? Maybe it could be during a test. Sure, you'll get the high grades, but what else would you gain from it? You get anxious from that you might get caught while taking the test and after the test is over? What happens if you just study? By being honest with yourself, you gain new knowledge and you don't have to worry about a guilty conscience after the test is over. Let's take a look at today's video. A story of the man in the well will bring new meaning in being honest in your dealings with others in a classic Akbar story. Learn how you can apply honesty in your life, how you interact with others, and how to untap your potential. Welcome to Untapping Your Potential, where we will share with you motivational stories, motivational figures, comeback stories, and public speaking tips that will keep you growing and inspire you to take action. Once upon a time, in a land full of fields and farmlands, there once lived a loyal farmer in Emperor Akbar's kingdom. He was an old and quite poor fellow, but he worked hard on his lands every day. You see, this farmer had a neighbor. He was a much younger farmer, and this younger farmer was a rich man, mostly because he was very cunning and cheated many people. But still, the old farmer trusted his words. From the second farmer, he bought himself a well. He paid the second farmer in full with his hard-earned money. However, despite their initial deal with the well, the second farmer was still asking for more money from his days later after the purchase had been made. Naturally, they had began to argue amongst themselves until finally decided to go to court to settle this once and for all. And in the court, there sits the kind Akbar and his advisor, who he calls Birbal. The two farmers came into Akbar's court to solve their dispute. One looked distraught and frustrated while the other was simply annoyed. They had explained to Akbar that they are neighbors. As Akbar listened to their complaint, the first farmer explained that he had bought a well from the second farmer. And the first farmer says, Sir, a week ago, I bought a well from my young neighbor. I paid him all the money, but yesterday, he asked me to pay some more. He told me I should pay for the water in the well also. How could he ask me to buy the water separately? He is cheating me. Now the second farmer, he couldn't help himself but to explain his side as well. He said, yeah, it's true. I sold him the well, but I didn't sell him the water. If he wants to use the water, he should buy that too. Akbar listened carefully to both sides. However, Akbar and Birbal were not sure if one is telling the truth. There might be a misunderstanding or they're just both lying. Akbar was at a loss of words. He turned to Birbal for help. They decided to visit the well for more clarity. Upon arriving at the well, the first farmer once again explained that he had bought the well, but that for some reason, he did not own the water. However, the second farmer is firm that the water was still his. Birbal looked inside the well and noticed that water was inside. Birbal quickly understood that the cunning second farmer was trying to cheat the poor farmer, for this does not make any sense. Birbal asked the second farmer, you say that you sold the well to this farmer, is that right? The second farmer nodded his head and replied, yes, that's right. I sold him the well he claimed. Birbal pressed on the issue more and asked, but you claim that the water belongs to you, right? The second farmer once nods his head and replies eagerly, Yes, yes, the water in the well is mine. Then tell me, Ribal continued to ask sternly, Why are you keeping your water in his well? You should have taken out all the water before selling the water, or you must remove all the water now and keep them in another place if you want to continue using them. For this, the second farmer was out of words. He did not know how to make up an excuse for this. Birbal and Akbar looked at him angrily. Akbar commanded the second farmer, It is you who must pay this farmer rent for using his well to keep your water. And now that you mention it, you also need to pay taxes on that water also. 
Seeing the disapproval look from Akbar and Birbal, the second farmer is learning that his greediness is not something to be proud of. He realized that his trickery had been caught. The second farmer begs the first farmer, Akbar and Birbal, for forgiveness. He was terrified that a punishment might fall upon him. He goes on his knees and says, I'm so sorry, please. I will never cheat anyone again. Thus, he agreed not to use the water anymore. The first farmer thanked Birbal and Akbar, and they left. The first farmer does not have to worry about the well anymore. And Birbal and Akbar were satisfied with the fact that the issue had been resolved. Every lie is two lies. The lie we tell others and the lie we tell ourselves to justify it. Robert Brawl. Do not cheat others. Because in reality, you only cheat yourself. If the second farmer were just honest or didn't try to deceive the first farmer, he wouldn't be in the situation in the first place. Now let me ask you, have you ever tricked someone into getting what you want like the second farmer? Perhaps you lied on your resume. You placed so many nice words on your application, it made you stand out from the rest of the applicants. But what happens when you lie on your resume? Yeah, you can get the job, but you can't do it. Or it can become far worse and even lead to criminal charges. If you stick with the truth, it doesn't matter how often you're asked about the subject. You'll always respond the same way, and people know what to expect from you because you're being honest. Honesty is the first chapter in the book of wisdom. So, you know what to do and what not to do. Honesty is the best policy, and lying will create just more problems for you. However, that isn't enough. Do you practice honesty in your day-to-day -day living? Let's take a look at a few reasons why being a little bit more honest every day is preferably the line any day of the week. One, it shows a lot about your character. One act of dishonesty and people may doubt your intentions and your heart. Honesty shows that you can be trusted by others wholeheartedly. Two, it makes your life easier. It's much more stressful to lie about something than telling the truth. Dishonesty causes stress and frustration. And then you keep making up lies and lies to cover the other lie, instead of making things much simpler. Three, your opinion has more value. It's only nature that, when you're honest, your loved ones come to you for advice. Rationally, you want to know the truth because that allows you to take proper action and make proper decisions. Four, it provides consistency. When you're honest with everyone else, it provides the consistency of your overall character. Not only will this benefit your overall reputation, but consistency is an admirable trait to others. 5. It keeps you out of trouble. When you're honest, you have nothing to hide. And with nothing to hide, there is nothing to be found. Honesty also gives you credibility with others. If caught in a predicament, people are more likely to believe those who you have been honest and forthcoming. Now what do you think Birbal and Akbar think of the second farmer now? See my point? So the next time they cross paths with the first and second farmer, who do you think they'll approach first? Thanks for watching this video. How would you like to hear more motivational stories on a consistent basis? Do me a favor and support the channel by sharing, commenting below, and please make sure to like and hit that subscribe button to get the latest updates. Soon, you will be on your way to feeling inspired.